Good afternoon, Fantasy Bay, here for another week two game preview. And today we're going to be going over the Ravens versus Arizona. So we're going to start off with, it starts on Sunday at 1 p.m. The over-under started at 41.5. It then went to 46.5. Uh, the spread started at 13.5 and is now 13 for the Redskins. That means they think that the Redskins are going to crush the Cardinals. We'll see about that. Lamar Jackson, everybody knows by now, Lamar Jackson had the game of his career. Five touchdowns, 200, sorry, 324 yards, 17 of 20 completions. Man, this guy killed it. 99.4 QBR. I'm telling you, without using his legs, just throwing the ball, Lamar Jackson looked like he could play. Now, I know what you're saying. I know. It's against Miami. Miami's trash. Miami's garbage. That being said, playing well is playing well. Regardless of if the... I don't even know. Regardless of if they're playing, what the opponents are playing well or not, you have to perform, and he did play very, very well. Let's move down to the wide receivers: Marquise Brown, Hollywood, Holly, 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 Hollywood. Played very well. Four out of five receptions, 149 yards, two touchdowns. The long was 83. I don't know if I've received this coming every week, but I do think, he, but I do think he's had a great week. He's fast enough to where Le Lamar Jackson can get it to him. I think he has a, a good future, good future moving forward. I'm not really touching the rest of the wide receivers, to be honest with you. They had a meh game. I'm not really looking forward to that. All right, so we had Cardinals. Uh, against the running backs. They were 25th against the running backs. Mark Ingram feasted last week. 14 carries, 107 yards, two touchdowns. Fire him up, of course. The Cardinals can't handle that. Uh, Gus Edwards had 17 carries because the game got out of hand with 56 yards. Justin Hill was an afterthought. Seven carries, 27 yards. Man, the, the game was so out of hand, I kind of don't want to take... I kind of want to take these scores with a grain of salt. Other than the Mark Ingram and Hollywood Brown, I'm not really looking too much on this team and the tight end. Tight end Andr Mark Andrews played like a beast. He had a great game. Eight for eight receptions, 108 yards, a touchdown. He had 31% of the target share. I think moving forward, he should be a very good tight end play in a landscape that is terrible. He should be a serviceable tight end moving forward for this team. All right, we have the Carol, uh, the Cardinals. We have Kyler Murray. It's not going to be a good game for the Cardinals again. What a rough start. Kyler Murray going against the Ravens, the third against the quarterback. That is a terrible way to start your career. He had a bad game last game. He had 308 yards, but... Two touchdowns, one interception, and if anybody actually watched this game, the first three quarters were terrible. And then the last quarter, he came back and made it look pretty decent. I believe he got a tie in the game. It was hell clutch, but when you're looking for fantasy, I don't know about you, but I had him on my team, and I was like, man, zero, negative? What is happening? But you don't have, like Matthew Berry says, you don't have to watch the game just know that the end result is going to be what you want it to be. And Kyler Murray, if you can sit him this week, I would. Ravens defense scares me in that aspect. Let's go down to wide receivers. Ravens are first against the wide receivers, so I'm not too excited about them either. Larry Fitz last game, 8-13, 113 yards, a touchdown, looked great. Don't know how he's going to do against this Ravens defense, though. Uh, we have Kristen Kirk, who had a connection with him in college. Meh game. Four out of 12, 32 yards. I say he's a buy low. I think he's going to be pretty good. Uh, moving forward, he should catch more than four passes out of 12. So looking for him to have a pretty decent game. All right, running back against the Ravens. 
David Johnson, you're going to start him. I don't even really need to go into the details about how well he played last week. It doesn't matter. You're starting him regardless. And you're not starting Charles Clay. So I believe that is the end of the review for the Ravens versus Arizona Cardinals. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. See you later, Fantasy Bay.